no one can do a perfect impression all the time. So when I'm doing like VeggieTales fin fiction parodies, like I'm just kind of doing voices and like trying to make them sound vaguely like the character's voice. But a lot of the time, I'm not really putting in the the full effort to make the impression sound as good as it can sound. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Um, it just depends. But here's a here's a good demonstration of my VeggieTales impressions and what I can do. Please tell me below which ones were great and which ones were not. Do you know how hard it was to get a network to turn over an hour of airtime to a bunch of vegetables? Yeah. Christmas is a time for family and uh, I give up. Never mind. Hi kids and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> get it? Ahead. That's a lettuce joke, isn't it? Uh-huh. Good one. Roll film! Hello! Hello! This is Larry the Cucumber. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I got recast for that freaking podcast! Ah! Whether, 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 whether you like it or not. See the tag on the back, one size fits all. I believe you have something that belongs to those boys. I am that hero! They call me Larry Boy! Sorry, got a frog in my throat. They call me Larry Boy, and I've got super section ears! So that's about it. Larry can talk low like this. He can talk high like this. He can sing like this. He can sing like this. He can talk like this. Gruff, there's Larry Boy. Larry Boy, there's Larry. There's Gruffer Larry. Oh, you and me, and our sports utility vehicles. I like your tires. He can be anywhere from very pitchy and very high like this, like Junior, to very low and very gruff. So let me know below how I did. All right, now one that I used to be really, really, really bad at that I think I've gotten somewhat better at is Jimmy Gord, the guy who ate my pie. Peter, though I understand the point you make, I'm hoping in your thinking there's a small mistake. Have you ever seen a boy with funny clothes, a girl with braces on her teeth or freckles on her nose? Some kids call them oddballs. Some kids call them weird. Is it my imagination, or does Aunt Ruth have a beard? Mmm, cheese in the crust. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. Oh boy, I'm gonna go veg out in the green room, bro. See you later, bro. I'm Jimmy Gord. Oh, yeah. And I'm Jerry Gord. And there's old Jerry Gord. Old Jerry Gord kinda sounds like this. And Podcast Jerry sounds like this. But Jerry normally sounds like this. Uh, hear ye, hear ye! Can you hear me? We can't hear ye! Oh, uh, how about now? Now, Archibald's one of my favorites to do, and I don't know if I'm good at it. So Archibald can be very low like this, hello? I'm Archibald Asparagus, aha! Uh -huh. And we can be very high like this! Boot, you transistorized tormentor! Boot! Master Larry, or Laddie, Master Laddie. And now it's time for City Songs with Laddie. That's not me! I always thought I was the announcer. Uh, the biscuit of Zazamoranda bow and lies atop a bound of snow. High on the hills where the cold winds blow, the biscuit of Zazamoranda bow. I took a little more of this and a little more of that. No, it cannot be. So yes, Archibald Asparagus, one of my personal favorites. I love this character and I really love doing his voice, but it's just one I never know if I'm good at. John, we need to focus. There's a job we need to do. All right, now one that I'm pretty confident in is Mr. Nasser. I've seen what life's like without the hope of Easter. And believe me, you do not want to go there. The bunny, the bunny. Whoa, I love the bunny. It's plastic, isn't it yummy? I love plastic. It's so delicious and crunchy. I like blue plastic, because it tastes like blueberries. I love me a blueberry. Mm, is that pie? Hi, everyone. I'm Mr. Nesser. I'd like to sell you a chocolate bunny. Sorry to leave you hanging like that. I already gave. All right, that's enough, Nesser. We got to keep moving. Who else do we got? I don't even know. We got to move on. We have got to get a skibbity in Ohio. Riz me up, buttercup. All right, the French peas. I am Big Finn, the royal chef. Was there a piano on my cake? Sorry, I'll go away now. Who is that again? I am the royal chef. Oui, oui, jean Clad. You are so royal in your little chef costume. I know they will never catch you. Oh, oh. Don't take much. <clears throat> it doesn't take much to do the hopperina. It won't take too much time to explain her. Bunny, uh, bunny slippers on your feet. Bunny ears up on your brain and do, do the hopperina. You silly little pickle. You silly little peas. You think that walking round will bring this city to its knees? I do not say walking. 
I say working. You think that working round will bring this city to its knees? Oh, I almost forgot. That's the thing about Mr. Nether. I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Land. I don't even know who I am when I'm talking about myself. <clears throat> Fine. <coughs> I'll be happy to wait for you to fail. Then I'll buy it for nothing. For less than nothing. I'll use a coupon. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, everybody. I'm that cool dude who sits in the back of the sound booth and breathes really loud while you're trying to record. And when you turn around and look frustrated, I'll go, hey, how's it going? Hello. Hi. I'm Mr. Lant. I am a cool gourd. Something smells fishy. Oi! Ah, uh, you called for an inventor? Oi, Boyds! Boyds! What really is a Boyd? Boyds don't exist. They're just drones from the government. <laughs> if you can believe it. Boyds don't exist. They're just drones! Oi! What's a Boyd? I don't know! They don't exist! Oi! Okay, okay. I rigged the election! Those weren't real votes at all. They were phony votes for our song. So yeah. Paul's another one I think I've gotten better at, because he's just kind of lazy. He's just a lazy voice. Hi, the Bible says, hi, Essie, hi, hi, uh, oh, oh. But before when I would do Paul's voice, I would make it really old and really intense like this. Hi. Well, I guess you could also do that, but it's a little much, <laughs> if you can believe it. Like, it still sounds like Paul, but it's just a little... A little too much, you know, maybe Paul's like that every now and then. But most of the time he's not he's talking from the throat, he's just kind of talking lazy. Like. Alright, so, uh, Junior's a really tough one to do. I swing from the trees with the greatest of ease. I have really bad allergies right now, so my throat's just gonna keep cracking. Do you know what happens when a guy gets hit with anti-gravity spray? It's pretty serious. So sometimes when I'm doing my fan fictions, I'll just do this voice right here, which is the voice I do for a character from Audio Ducking, um, which you probably don't know what it is, but I'll just do this voice and I'll kind of crack every now and then like that, do a little voice crack and talk like that, and then I pitch shift it on iMovie. But if I'm really going to try to pitch shift it myself, then it really hurts to do. <clears throat> Laura, please. I know I messed up, and I just want, I, I, once again, I'm really sorry. Gosh, I could do this better if my voice wasn't cracking. <coughs> I'm really sorry, Laura, about the camera, and I won't mess up again. Uh -huh. Feel free to tell me how abominable that was below. I know it was abominable. I know it wasn't good, but that's okay. Oh, uh, shoot. Lowey! I need Lowey, boy! Our property values will plummet! Wait, wait! There's a new rat, a blueberry in town! Okay, uh, uh, let's cut through a few others now. There's George. George, that's how Phil Vischer introduces him when he's doing the voice. He goes, eh, there's George. Eh, Rick Shack and Benny Remolded comes out at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. At least it better, or I'm gonna throw Gord in the furnace. Eh, it doesn't really. I'm just messing around. Eh! Oh, uh, shoot. Goliath, you are a coward. Who will I fight? They told me you were the children of God. You are cowards. I'll come back tomorrow. Popcorn! Popcorn in my teeth! Popcorn in my mustache! Popcorn in my haggis! Popcorn in my mustache gum! Ooh! Okay, let's cut through a few more. It's Buzz Saw Louie, grumpy kids, greedy. I'm on an adventure, who's also kind of Scallion 3. Why does everyone want their lines be picked up at midnight? Scallion 2! Hi! I'm just Jean Claude if he yelled a lot and wasn't French! Ah! Must be some sharper image! I'm a cat! Meow! Then there's Scallion One, who's just kind of an Archibald voice. You're on your own, but a little bit wispier. And then in the podcast, he talks like this. I love the smell of cookies in the morning. Hand me that mic, pickle boy. <laughs> and in the first episode, he's a little bit more like this, very nasally. Yes, it is. If they don't obey... If they don't obey... We are your wise men. What are some, some other, uh... Awful Alvin! Dance with me, Lampy! Lampy! <laughs> and Lampy goes... My Lampy voice is really good. Uh, Khalil! Khalil! Carlisle! Khalil! <clears throat> you have come back to put the band back together! Hello! I am Khalil! I am a caterpillar! I am a caterpillar! Well, that is only half true. Oh boy. My mother was a caterpillar, my father was a worm, but I am okay with that now. You see? Did we have for me? It's a song we sing every Christmas in Jamaica! Hey, hey, hey! Angels we have heard on high! It's a song we sing every Christmas in Jamaica! One character I kind of like to do is Dad Asparagus, but it's just Bob, a little bit deeper and sterner. That's Mr. Nezer, and he hasn't done anything. Yet. 
And I feel like he has a little bit of a lisp, like me, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Mr. Nezer, if you'd just come to church, you'd see, you'd understand what Christ Jesus did for us. All right, that's enough impressions for the day. If anybody wanted to hear a certain character who I didn't do, there are so many little, you know, uh, Ichabezer, Ichabezer's grumpy. Ah, oh, get off my lawn. You're becoming like me every day, Larry. One day you're gonna be sad and lonely just like me. Or Mr. Beat, same character. Eat my roses? Eat my roses? Who do you think you are to eat my one and only? Whatever it is, I don't know. La la la, la 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 la. Wow, that was really good. <clears throat> and then of course, Vigil, my hair is on fire. Don't worry, I'm an engineer. All right, Jason, we need your help. Uh, and then Midgel. I bonsai and fidget, uh, fidget, fidget is just paw grape meets Khalil. I don't, I don't know. I haven't done a lot of fidget. Khalil him and Kevin, Kevin beans. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if there's any characters. Shoot, I'm thinking of more. Dark crow, I am the dark crow. Laddie boy, you go back home. Let me do what I have to do. This is my mission now, laddie boy. And Cordy, I feel like a million bits. Ooh, the Moby Blaster, my favorite. The Moby Blaster, my favorite. I feel like Percy's. <clears throat> I feel like Percy's what I could be really good at if I practice more. One thing I really love in Veggie Tales, and one thing I like to imitate, is Bob and Larry singing in harmony. So when he goes, um, until that day is finally here, and all good things let's persevere. So don't grow tired of doing good. Double pump half cap knee high to the chai. It's my signature drink. A lesson learned is soon returned. A lesson lived is wisdom gived. Uh, gift? Go be some slack. I'm dead. You didn't listen, Ebenezer, to what I wanted you to know. And like that guy ignored by Caesar, who knew that R R uh, Rome was gonna burn! Okay, I've gotta stop now. Thank you all so much for listening. Uh, if you listened this far, I really appreciate it. Please just let me know below which ones I did good on, which ones I did bad on, which ones sound really accurate, which ones don't sound accurate, which ones are close to accurate. Everyone will probably have different opinions. It's tough to do perfect impressions. Nobody's ever gonna do a perfect impression, but you can get pretty close. And I hope that I'm pretty close on at least some of these. But it's tough to tell as the voice actor. I need ears that aren't mine, so please let me know. I appreciate y'all.